Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast where we're going to be solving this engineering mechanics problem and it reads uh, determine the magnitude of uh, the hydrostatic force acting on gate AB which has a width of 1.5 meters uh, water has a density of uh, rho is equal to 1 megagrams or 1000 kg per cubic meters so this is also equal to 1000 mega is 10 to the power 6 1000 kg per kg per cubic meters all right solution so there are two ways in which you can solve this so there's method one where you can assume partition this into two like so okay so that you have this part this weight and then you have this part like so okay this is method one then we have method two instead of doing it like that you can just calculate uh, the pressure and let a distributed uh, force and draw it exactly perpendicular to the surface so you can have something like this all right right but for this particular one you'll be required to calculate the length of the plate so either of these gives you the answer okay this is method two so we are going to solve both of them quickly so let's start with method one where we're going to cut this like this here so we have one part that is producing some pressure and then we have another part so one is exerting some weight the other one is, 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 is exerting weight or pressure in the vertical direction the other one is exerting pressure in the horizontal direction so we're going to have a force here i'm going to call f1 we'll have also a force here i'm going to call f2 okay we know that here at this point here there is no head therefore we're not going to have any pressure or uh, distributed force or any force at that point so therefore we're only going to concentrate at b we want to find f1 so uh Pressure at B is going to be equal to uh, rho times HB times um, rho times uh, HB times G. I you the plate of this is something like that. Okay. As a plate okay so we know that our rho is 1000 our h is uh, 2 and um, our g is 9.881 so this gives us 1000 by 2 by 9.81 this is 19 620 newtons newtons per square meter so we have this width we've been told this width is equal to b is equal to 1.5 so my qb my distributed force is going to be equal to uh, b times pb 
which is going to be equal to 1.5 times 19,620. Okay. 9.5. So this gives me a 29,430. A 29,430 newtons per meter. All right. Therefore, my F1 is going to be equal to half times QB times this is QB here. Okay, times H. All right, and H here is what is two two meters. Okay, this height here is two meters. So this is going to be equal to half times times 29,430 by H2 when you do the calculation give this gives us 29,430 newtons and therefore F1 we found it F1 is equal to F1 is equal to 29,430 newtons so let's find F2 so for F2, we need to find the volume. Volume is going to be equal to V2 is equal to half times LBH. Half times, what is our L? Our L for this is from here to there. This one is equal to 1.5 meters so it's 1.5 what's our b is 1.5 and what's our h is 2 therefore this is going to be equal to 2.25 cubic meters therefore f2 is going to be equal to our raw times g times V2 as our row is 1000 as our G is 9.81 and as our V2 is 2.25 this is equal to so 1000 times 9.81 times 2.25 this gives us a 22072.5 newtons A twenty two thousand and seventy two point five newtons. So for us to find the resultant for that, which is going to be perpendicular to this surface like so, our resultant to use Pythagoras theorem is going to be equal to F one squared plus F two squared, which is going to be equal to um, 29 430 squared plus F2 is 22072.5 squared square root of that therefore resultant is going to be equal to Going to be equal to thirty six point seven eight seven five kilonewtons. Okay, so resultant for method one, I'll call this method one is equal to. 36.79 kilonewtons. All right, so let's go to method two. All right, quickly, we got to make an error of this. Yes, we go to method two. We are done with method 2, we rub all this stuff here. 
method two. We are on method two now. So method two. So method two, we have this point and this point. Okay. So let's find the length of AB. Length AB is equal to root of 1.5 squared plus 2 squared. What do we get? And we get 1.5 squared plus 2 squared. We get a 6.5 root of 6.5. We get a 2.5 meters. So the length of this is 2.5 meters. Okay. So we know at A again there is no head. We know to say pressure at A is going to be equal to zero. So is the distributed force is going to be equal to zero. So is the force also at A is going to be equal to zero. But at B we do have the head. So pressure at B is equal to the same like the other case. Okay, rho times hp times acceleration due to gravity and then our rho is 1000 our h is um what is our h there it is two our h is two and our g is 9.81 so we have 1000 times 2 times 9.81, we get 19.620 newtons per square meters, which is this one here. Alright, so we are going to draw it perpendicular like so. This is this point. Since then we know it is 0, we are going to draw a triangle like so. This point is um, our PB. Okay, this is our PB. So let's find QB. It's going to be equal to, you know, our we did for this. It's going to be equal to B, which is the we did. You know, the we did for this, right? We did for this is uh, we say this B is equal to 1.5 meters. So B times PB, so this is going to be equal to 1.5 times PB is 19,620. 1.5 times 19,620. So this gives us a 29,430 newtons per meter. So this now changes to be but is acting at the very center of the plate at the centroid of the plate okay but i'll leave it there so this is our qb okay this is our qb acting perpendicular to the plate all right so now we are going to find the resultant we are calling f r okay so our resultant FR is going to be equal to half times QB times the length. Which length? This length. So let me call this as my, let me call this as, uh, okay, my H, my H prime rather. I'll call this as my H prime, okay? h prime is equal to 2.5 this is the actual length of um of the gate all right which is in at incline it's inclined so by h prime so this is going to be equal to half times 29 430 times 
5. Our FR of omega 2 will be equal to half by 29 or 30 by 2.5. So this gives us a 36, uh, 785, uh, 36, 787.5. Newtons, which is also equal to FR is going to be equal to a 36.79 kilonewtons. So my FR for method 2 is going to be equal to 36.79 kilonewtons. So since method 1 is equal to method 2, so it doesn't matter which method you use, you can still arrive at the same answer. Okay. Thank you for listening. I hope the video was helpful. Please continue liking my video and subscribing. Bye-bye and see you in my next uh, screencast.